Sarah is um, a Renaissance woman. Through Sarah's leadership and through the expectations that she sets, um, she breeds success. Sarah has the wisdom to know who she is and the discipline to act in compliance with the knowledge she finds. I like race cars. I figure the first thing before I come on needs to be a race car going Rawr. I moved to Shreveport on a whim from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Needed a job, but I wasn't quite sure if I was gonna stay here or not. So I decided a temporary job might be a good option for me. I looked in the phone book, went and applied at Manpower. I got the staff position. It was a clerk in the bookkeeping department. And who knew that being starting out as a clerk would evolve into us being able to buy three franchises and be where I am today. Sarah's strength has always been that she sees that big picture. She has that vision. And then she finds people who help her put that into place. She was elected president of the Rotary Club. And immediately I recognized that there was an individual there that had some qualities that were uh, beyond the norm. She has a clear direction of where she wants things to go. And she's very quick to make an action plan and execute that plan. My success has been because of work. Getting in there and when you're starting something up, not being afraid to do something a little bit different, but also doing the things that you don't necessarily like to do. It's not all fun and games. The overall picture and what it looks like now looks like everything's fun, but there, I've had a lot of failures also. Ask me about the thousand makeup bags I have in my warehouse. <laughs> she had talent and grit, and those two are what it takes in business. Well, we actually met in the vicinity of 1984, and then in 1986, uh, we became married and partners in business. I've been through some hell and high water, and she's always been there and taking care of things, and she's a remarkable person. But to me, the most important thing is your attitude. If you come in willing to work, you sense that during the interview process that somebody's a go-getter. Energy and effort get you very far in life, as do good manners. I could do a whole hour on good manners. <laughs> She's a better people person than I am. So when it comes to ticklish situations to deal with people, try to fix a little problem here or there, I'm more militaristic. So she will get in there and a little soft touch and she'll fix things better than I can. I love to try new things. I'm an idea person. I have a lot of really bad ideas. I've had a lot of good ideas. Our family, Jack, has had a lot of good ideas. I've shot a few down that ended up being very successful for someone else. He reminds me of that occasionally. <laughs> Sarah Collier is one of the most creative people with whom I've ever come in contact with. And at the same time, she's also one of the most honest and she brings those to everything she's involved with. When I was in high school, one of the best classes I had was a general business class. And junior achievement now fills that niche. People need to understand about an overview of business, whether you're gonna be an artist, a CPA, or anything in between. You have to understand a little bit about business. You have to make sure your paycheck is correct. You have to know about your taxes. She and I both got started in, in community affairs, and she got involved with the Holiday and Dixie Foundation and started working. She was queen, I think, a couple of years, and then she joined the Rotary. And as I started to back away from getting involved in more and more community projects, uh, she went forward. Of course, I made the mistake and got into politics, and that's another story of a different day, but. Uh, it, it's just evolved. I've never had a master plan. I've had short-term plans, but I don't have this big magical plan that has taken me from point A to point B. You have to be fluid, but you have to be very passionate about what you're doing. Sarah and Mike and the Collier family have a racing business as well, which most would seem peculiar. You know, I think she's willing to roll her sleeves up and do what's necessary and um, surprise a few people in what she can actually do. Jack was about eight, nine years old, and he was seeing the uh, brand new idea of junior dragsters coming on 
And Sarah got to looking into it. And before I knew it, Jack was in a junior dragster and she became crew chief. A couple of years into this, we're at some big time Halloween race and at three o'clock in the morning, and she's standing there with her diamonds in her ears and her diamonds on her hands, full of dirt and grime. Her makeup has run off of her face, almost streaks in her eyes. Looked like she'd been pig wrestling. And there she was, that smile again on her face as her son standing next to her, and they were both champions. And she's the one that takes care of it. Now it's huge now, it's hard to manage now. It's my passion. It's a hobby that is also a business. Some weeks it makes more money than others. But it's always fun and it's family together. Most important thing about success is to define what success means to you. It's not just about earning a dollar. It's about enjoying every day. There was a church that was in Benton, Louisiana, and they were moving into a new building. Now, you could have left the old church sitting there and it could have become dilapidated like so many of them unfortunately do. She looked at it and he said, you know, this would make a great venue place. And that's what Sarah does. She looks at things and she says, can this be repurposed? I'm a big believer that who you associate with shapes you. That's important to think about at work, it's outside of work, because it's who you become. If you're with people who work hard, want to get things accomplished, that's where you go. If you're with slackers, you slack. Sarah goes into every business dealing with integrity and with honesty. Doing the right thing has become very shaded, and that's very important to me, trying to do the right thing morality, business issues, sometimes get clouded with making a dollar. To me, it's more important about doing the right thing and enjoying my journey. I've been very fortunate to be able to come up with great ideas and find the right people to back me up to carry out the details. And I'm able to oversee. I kind of think I'm a captain of a ship and I keep everybody going in the right direction, whether it's manpower, SARS technologies, the wedding chapel. Once in a while I have to get in and steer, but most of the time I'm making sure everything's going in the right direction and try to be creative and inspiration to my staff. And, well, I don't have parties at work. 